Chef 2011. Thank you all for participating. great cooking for great causes. So let's get right into it. Here's how it works. All of these teams have 40 minutes to cook six ingredients provided by our friends at the A&P. And they may also use the pantry behind and they've also been able to bring some of their own pantry items. No rules, all about fun. Now, you as the audience can get involved by also voting back there in that pot, that stainless steel pot right from the Celebrity Chef Test Kitchen, and you can vote for a dollar. Make sure and write the name of your favorite chef on there, and the winner of that pot gets to take all that money home for their charity. Thanks to Chef Joel. Yay. So let's talk about our esteemed panel of judges. We've got Brian Marshall from the U.S. Coast Guard. He is a North Carolina barbecue roots cook who has actually cooked for both President Clinton and President Bush. Wow. Marty West, our esteemed council member, is also a regular guest on Celebrity Chef, and she brings her southern roots of cooking. And then, of course, we have the terrible double duo over there, <laughs> Jesse and Jay from the a and And the a and has been so kind to provide our secret ingredients tonight. So thanks so much. Now, let's talk about the contestants. And uh, I don't know, Joel, they're interestingly dressed. What do you think? <laughs> And I think they've been having some fun. So, <laughs> so <laughs> these ladies are representing our arts community, the Ketchikan Area Arts and Humanities Council, as well as KRBD. <laughs> and Anita Hales. Anita, who is your sous chef? My sous chef is Vicki O'Brien. All right. <laughs> we are representing the Medieval and Renaissance Society. Yes. Excellent. You guys have a really cool event coming up in January, correct? That's right. The Midwinter Medieval Feast, where you get to eat with your fingers. So you'll have no pressure cooking for that, right? Oh, right. <laughs> Absolutely. All right. And over here, Lynn Kwan, a reputed excellent cook. And her Me about these ingredients. Well, these are crazy. Those guys over at the AMP, they're kind of tricky. They're, yeah, yeah, I don't know what they were thinking. We've got tonight, we've got wonton wrappers, prosciutto, smoked cheddar cheese, honey crisp apples, straight from the produce section, golden nugget squash, and some chicken strips. Hmm. And they I, must use yeah, all right. six ingredients. Oh. All six. Now, you can add in. I, Apparently the Quan family has a quite sizable pantry here. So that pantry or liquor cabinet? I don't know. <laughs> I like this pantry. Because maybe the gals down there have been going over here. <laughs> <and they're laughs> we got your cheating a little bit. We also want to give a big shout out to Orla and the ladies over at Simply Bella for this amazing pantry. minutes to cook 15 minutes and then we're gonna have a 10 minute intermission so that folks can go uh, enjoy the other room if they will and then we'll come back but there is the K high swim team timer and that's that when 40 minutes is up you're done and then the judges will have their say the winner of tonight's episode will go to the finals on October 24th. And thank you to all of you who came, because all of the ticket admission money is going to go directly to the charity. The big winner takes it all for their charity. So I think we're ready to go. Uh -oh, question, question from George Washington. So before we get off, 
like a five minute warning before we're at the 40 minute mark? Yes. Okay. okay I have my handy sidekick Jeremy in the back row. He's going to shout out the Excellent. time. Thank you. Right? There you go. All right. So why don't we divvy up these ingredients? Just All right. Let's grab Yeah, them. I heard uh, I heard some people were cheating though about the gourds over there. Hmm? Uh, okay. Right? <laughs> Jay's taking notes. Look at them over there. We just, just touched them. Oh, okay. Okay, so let's divvy them up three ways. Now, see, the interesting thing about tonight is the fact that these guys don't have redos. When we film in the Celebrity Chef Test Kitchen, we've got redos. And Joel and I use them profusely. <laughs> All right, time is on. Oh, are you going now? Go, 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 go. Woo! And I'm going to give you one more minute, just to be fair. Really? Yeah. <laughs> All right, so we've got some shopping going on here. What, what, what is that? Fungus. <laughs> 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 because you are the sandwich king after all. Oh, thank you. Um, I was just thinking there's a lot of adults here, but the chicken strips, they could have some of those kids too, even though we're all kids at heart. I think they are definitely on this end. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry. Okay. <laughs> sorry, <laughs> Monica. <laughs> okay. Now, I don't know, Joel, come here for a second. We took a, like, a private poll, and over the weekend, we asked five different people what they would cook with these particular um, ingredients. And there were five different answers. Now what I would have done is I would have shaved the chicken and the cheese and then cut up the prosciutto very, very small as well as the apples and dice those and then probably pureed the squash and then wrapped it all in the wonton and deep fried it. And that was a different answer than what I got from other people. What about you? What, what would you do? Quick, quick. I think I would put wonton wrappers to make the dumpling, the chicken and the squash. And then use the cheese to make a creamy sauce. Very good. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh -oh. All right. So Brian, you have you have cooked for presidents before. Let me ask, what are you looking for as a judge? Um, exactly what we got here. I'm looking for a plate presentation, flavor, varieties of, of crispiness and freshness, and just all all, all of it together. Very cool. Very cool. Yeah, we should probably tell uh, how we're judging this. Yes. Uh, judging is on a 45 point scale, and it's broken into three categories uh, 15 points each for creativity, flavor, and presentation. We've got exactly 40 minutes. I see five minutes have elapsed. Oh. Holy cow. <laughs> no pressure. Terrible. Now we didn't want to. We don't want to put too much pressure on these folks. So I will say that they did know as of Friday what the ingredients would be. It's hard enough to cook in front of a live audience, so we gave them a little bit of a heads up. So what are you making here? So um, I'm just cutting the potato for the final dish. Cutting it up. I'm cutting it up and I'm going to fry it. You hear it, right? I hear it. I hear it. All right, so what's the cheese for? It's more pleasant. Oh, it's Oh, you're making a roux. And I see a slice in the spinner. I think it's a slice, though. I think it's a slice. I think it's a slice. Brilliant. I love it. Oh yeah, I'll get people like that. 
So, Joel, I'm going to ask Marty. Clearly, she has an opinion because it's really smelling good in here. What do you think so far? I think you're right. It does smell. It smells great, and it's smoky. We're just kind of hoping that's on one of the um, fire extinguisher things. Oh my God! I hope not. It would be a very good party. You got enough ratings that you can. Yeah, if anyone needs to start a fire, next week would be the time because uh, Fire Chief Frank Scher will be one of our judges. I see some honey going into Anita's recipe. Um, that's actually going to be a fresh tomato sauce for our um, other special secret item. The Should I tell you what I'm making? Yes. The flour? Oh, okay. I'm making actually a. Um, what am I making, honey? <laughs> What's it called? <laughs> yeah. It's a. Uh, Hold on, yeah, I'm going to get it. Hold on. <laughs> I've got it written down somewhere. <laughs> ravioli. I'm making ravioli. Okay. I'm not seeing the uh, wigs get in the way of, of the art ceiling. I've got to tell you, I am really impressed. Good morning, the first one. It's lovely. Yeah. Is that your hair? We are at 13 and a half minutes. Smells good out there. Smelling good, looking good. If this clock says 15, we're going to take a 10 minute intermission to let these folks have a little pressure off them. You guys can have a little pressure off you and retire to the other room. No pressure, no pressure. Say the lady with wigs. I see the uh, A&P dudes over there are talking uh, vociferously. Could be about the intermission, probably about their ingredients. <laughs> It smells really delicious. I'm just trying to figure out. The closest table to me has a thousand of tequila. It's just it's intriguing me. I want to know what the tequila is for. Which tequila? Yeah, I'm saying. Would that be the tequila that you're cooking with, or the tequila that you might be drinking? Oh, I see it. They ducked behind the curtain back there. Oh, no, we did. We were right on the front. Right on. Right on. That's the tequila they consume to get the hair done. All right, so definitely during the intermission, folks, do not forget to put a dollar or two in the pod because the People's Choice winner is not necessarily the winner who will go to the finals tonight. So there could be two different chefs tonight taking something home for their charity. That's very, very important. I see some cream going in here. You are the white sauce too, and so. Alright, I'm watching the time. Alright, 15 minutes. We now have a 10 minute intermission. You may choose to go or stay. Who will let these people do their magic?
taste one of these dishes. I'm going to let it But only allowing those who want to taste a taste if they have done something for the People's Choice Awards. We know who you are. You know, I was just thinking, you want to get the course? I think the team down there spend more time getting ready with their outfits than they are preparing the food. <laughs> oh, this was the easy part. <laughs> you know, I, I, I just gotta say, judges, do they get extra credit points for looks? I had a fourth look. Oh, presentation, fourth column. <laughs> presentation. And of course, we lost those wildly A and P boys. because I just got back from my 10 minute break. <laughs> it looks like you're doing pretty good. <laughs> Jesse, Sandwich King, man, what do you think? Uh, I was looking around, I see a lot of uh, the squash rendered down in little souffle cups, looking uh, for the little cheese on top. A little smoky pancetta or something on there. Marty, I'm not seeing anything Southern. What are you thinking? I know, but we're going to have to just kind of wing it, I guess. Anything with a lot of butter, though, almost all of There you go. There you go. All right. Brian? Yeah. Yeah. Lots of butter coming out. All right, Brian, you are the uh, gourmet king, but with a down-home style. Tell me what you're thinking so far. I'm thinking I wish I was up there cooking and not sitting here, but it all smells delicious. <laughs> it does, does smell delicious. That's the I see everyone very, very, very busy. And we are at the 27 minute mark. Unbelievable. Pour that woman a drink. <laughs> well, no, she's hoping it isn't. Well, and the true competitive spirit. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Ah, watch out, stand back. I said she wanted me Danger. to have a drink, but he didn't think that was uh, This has to brown. Uh, nice what's it, what's with this? this? <laughs> uh, we used it. Okay, you know what? We need to do this in here. Would you try some butter in it? Uh -oh. Secret judge. Secret judge in the audience. Not really, but what's your take on this so far? So you can hear uh, obviously you just one person or maybe you just don't look and you want to figure that out, right? You just want to figure out the answer. Alright, so don't look at this choice. Here we go, we got some more. What's Right, basically. We got some boiling water right here. They depleted their liquor cabinet. We're not sure if it's in there or over there. It might be over there later.
Yeah, you can just go back. That's a good slide back. Oh, excellent. Keep on. at this moment in time, but you may dive in and take your taste. Sorry, it's, it's ladies first. Yeah, it, it, ladies first. Yes, all of them did. <laughs> what's, what's the dish? What is it? Exactly. What would you call this? It's a pumpkin surprise. Pumpkin <laughs> Right. Harvest. Full, full harvest. Oh no, full harvest. That's full right. harvest. Full harvest. Everything from the ground to the ball harvest. Uh, full like harvest. Chicken. Full yeah, harvest. You know. <laughs> She's <laughs> Mark in Washington <laughs> cannot lie. No, we had it. Yeah, exactly. That's a real mystery. <laughs> there we go. You're up, Jay from Produce. No commentary. <laughs> try, try your squash, man. This is your squash. It's squash. It <laughs> you got it. You got to squash it out. Good uh, stuff you can cook at my house. There you go. Uh, we neglected to mention that Jay doesn't cook. <laughs> <laughs> I need to tell him about the apple compote. I need to tell you about the apple compote. Oh, yeah. my sushi. No, it's it's an apple. Whoa. It's all this. Come out here. Away from the speaker. It's an apple compote. <laughs> Thank you, Martha Washington. What? <laughs> Mix them both together or one on their... I think I'd take a bite of one and then I like the uh, spicy bite of the other. And, you know, Try it with the apple. cheese. It's a full mouth experience. Regular <laughs> <laughs> Well, okay. <laughs> Have the judges had their taste? I'm still working on it. Still working on it. Oh, that's a good sign. I think they're liking it. Shall we proceed with Chef 2? One more, yes. Okay, here we go. Lin Kwan, competing for Wish. Woo! What you make? Okay, we made a ravioli out of wonton wrappers filled with prosciutto cheese, some fontina cheese, and the cheddar cheese. The smoked cheddar cheese. And it's got a fresh tomato sauce with garlic. And then we made a, uh, uh, what is that? Ice cream. <laughs> squash, gold nugget squash ice cream. And that, of course, isn't in the judging, but the sauce is because we made it last night. But it is a apple, caramel apple um, topping with uh, flambe with brandy. Gold nugget squash soup. Whoa! Go my cow. Okay. Okay, so let's uh, choose another member of the audience. I'm melting. We need spoons. I'm looking. How about you right there? Oh, I'll this one. And it's our, oh, and wine as well. Holy cow, the multi course dinner. And wine. Oh, and the keeper of the Oh, and the keeper of the Are you ready for a whole meal? Yeah, thank you. The board only do me is. Yeah, you took my board. Oh, okay. okay. I got some more hats Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, it's very good. You got the the is really amazing. Yeah. All of these. All of these. It's a multi-course meal. Really good. It's like the butternut squash is really super sweet, and so it's definitely like more of a sweeter soup. 
And now some ice cream. Your dessert again. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
really well with Jamie and with all the staff there, Naomi. And, you know, WISH can't get enough attention as far as, you know, the seriousness of domestic violence and sexual assault in our community. And so I thought this was a great opportunity when Naomi volunteered me for this. <laughs> Cause, so very <laughs> cool, great job. And I think you know, Benita, you're you're such a familiar voice around our town with KFMJ, and I love what you started with your nonprofit in the sense that it's brand new, and you guys are bringing this nationally known artist to Ketchikan in January for the medieval feast. So tell me a little bit more about Kmars. Well, Kmars uh, was founded about three years ago. A group was, was sitting talking and we said, you know, we should have a renaissance fair because that would be lots of fun. And, and then we decided that was a little too ambitious. So we said, okay, let's have a midwinter medieval feast. And we had our first one, which uh, went off really well in spite of us. And uh, <laughs> the second one was much better. The third one is going to be really good. Uh, we're hoping to bring uh, a couple of people from New York um, it's a group called Asteria, um, Eric Redlinger and Sylvia Rhine. And Sylvia Rhine has been in the uh, Broadway scene. She's starred in uh, Phantom of the Opera. And uh, she, was, she was Christine in Phantom of the Opera. She uh, has done many things like that. And uh, Eric Redlinger is world known for his lute playing. And we're still trying to make money to bring them here. So hopefully that will come through and we'll be able to get them on a plane and bring them to Ketchikan. And they will be able to spend some time up at the high school with the kids up there. And uh, we have also adopted the homeless shelter as a charity. And uh, we make donations to the homeless shelter. Very cool. Good job. arts communities in the entire nation, which leads me to, I don't know, you know, I thought it was always Marty and I that they're dueling divas in the kitchen, but instead we have <laughs> Step Forward. Wait, Step Forward. Step Forward. It's all in the hair. You guys, <laughs> it's all in the hair, right? Oh, I need to, obviously. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, we never will. We never will. Class. Never will. <laughs> Thank you so much. Arts in Caribbean. Holy cow. What a big, huge part of our community. Tell me something that I don't know about the Arts Council. Is that possible? <laughs> You know everything about the Arts Council. That's something that we try to make very obvious. Um, obviously, the Main Street Gallery, we have a torch night season that's starting this weekend on the 8th. Um, we get to partner with all sorts of great, great um, organizations in town, um, KRBD being one of them, KMARS being another one of them, to bring you great arts into this community. And we're really, really happy to be able to do it. And thank you so much for having mm -hmm. this for us, an opportunity to do something really fun and help our organizations. It's really great. Well, thank, thank you. you. Yeah. Thank you. And I don't know, you know, I just can't have morning coffee without tuning into KRBD. Really? So, yeah. That's excellent. Yeah, yeah. you can. So. <laughs> Tell me a little bit more about KRBD. You guys have a fun drive coming up, right? We do. Our pledge drive is starting on the 14th of October. That's Friday. Our goal is $55,000. Um, thank you all for your past support. And if you're not a member and you're a listener, we ask you to call in and pledge your support that week. Uh, we're 35 years old. The people that are there presently as staff are just custodians. We're the stewards and uh, longtime radio here in this community, connecting everybody and all of the organizations. Um, it's good stuff. And we're going to have the Halloween party at the end of the month. This is our second year. Um, by joining hands, we get to bring a live band in and change the venue. And we hope you'll all join us for Halloween. <laughs> Company. I'm all about people using the phone line. So maybe we should check in with the judges. Do we have a verdict? Close. Close. Oh. Oh. That's excellent. So we're very, very close to having a verdict. I don't know, Joel. What do you what do you got there eating, man? <laughs> yeah. 
He's a chef. I eat. I do. Okay, tell me guys what you do. Oh, the apples are really good? Oh, wait. Remember what I said about, you know, spices and me crying like a little girl? <laughs> They're in the tears. They got a kick. Oh, no, really? No. Well, not for I don't you. Like You're normal. Me, I'm a spice whip. Oh, no. Oh my goodness. Really? I'm, I'm crying. They can hear me in Sitka now. <laughs> Food as well. Food as well. Holy cow, now I know why your face is red. Oh, yeah. Alright, I gotta try some of this. Because I have a feeling it's sweeter on this side of the house. <laughs> spicy. Oh, spicy. Sweet. <laughs> Mm -hmm. That's good. All that. This is going to be a really hard decision. There's just so many flavors. No, I'm going to try some of that too. You know, if you don't care about cleanliness or if you're just in a good mood, feel free to come up after this and dig in. It's really good. They're still deliberating over there. Guys, you got to come up with a decision. We do have a People's Choice winner, though. And it was a close race, and we thank everyone for supporting all of our worthy charities. The People's Choice winner tonight is Lynn Kwan. <laughs> She will take the pot of money home to wish. Woo! So, you know, we're kind of waiting on a decision, guys. We're not waiting on growing fruit or produce over there. Easy, man. Wait for fruits. Produce. Yeah, drink the wine. Let's it out. Jay blew it. You know, this is why they have so many sales at the AMP because he blows it on the order. Oh! <laughs> oh! 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 I used to love this lady. Now I'm not too sure. I really like the sales, though. <laughs> nice. He's like, your price is over. Was this yours? Yeah. Yeah, I blew my yeah. up. Yeah. 82 out of possible 45. Easy. <laughs> you know, Jay moved here from Montana not too long ago, and I think you've done incredible things with the produce department at AMP. I mean, I walk in there, and not only are there great prices, but there's some pretty cool stuff, too. And you, the Sandwich King guy, holy cow, <laughs> talk about the deli over there. Wow, that is amazing. Now, Marty, you're harking back from your southern roots. Yeah. And what was it that uh, that made, uh, was it your grandmother? Some Something that you cook makes someone cry? What is that? <laughs> oh, God. I don't remember what I was talking about. Um, oh, yeah, that my, my grandmother's potato salad. Your Could grandmother's potato cry. salad. You grew yeah. up in Tennessee. I did. And you've been in Ketchikan for quite some time. And you actually are an amazing cook. We've had some pretty fun times on the show. <laughs> deep fried Twinkies, Twinkies and deep hot Deep fried dogs. Twinkies, deep fried uh, macaroni and cheese, and not to mention the 800 ways that we cooked hot dogs. 15, 15, 15, 15, 15. So that was pretty cool. And then Brian here, who is amazing and grew up cooking in a North Carolina barbecue and eventually went to culinary school and through the Coast Guard was a contracted chef for two presidents and cooked in front of Paul Prudhomme. So talk about a little bit of pressure. Well, I think this is great. I think that we should give all of our chefs Tonight is going to 
receive $100 from KPU as well as a gift certificate to the AMP. And Orla was so excited about the event that she has chipped in a $100 gift certificate to Simply Bella for the winner. The winner will then move to the finals and if you didn't pick up on it, all of your wonderful donations for ticket sales tonight are going to be put in a kitty by the landing, our friends here at the landing. And that'll be put in a kitty and the grand finale winner will win all of that money for their charity. So, as we say in the South, vote early, vote often, buy tickets, and buy them often. Because this is all going for great causes. Na, 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 na. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> Is it really? <laughs> Mr. Military over here. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to do double checks. Why don't we start right here with Jay. Jay, tell me about what you thought first about Lin Kwan and Wish, their contribution. I was totally impressed with the three dish serving, the ice cream especially with the one dogs on, on top of coffee. I was surprised. Thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. so, we'll, go, we'll go down the row and we'll talk about Lynn's dishes. What did you think, Jesse, about Lynn's dishes? Um, I actually got to choose the wonton wrappers, and I was really happy to see them fried up with cinnamon and sugar and stuff like that on top of the dessert. That's what I was hoping for, because it's really hard to execute the squash, the apples, and the cheese and all that stuff. And then actual wrap-up, so the dessert was what I wanted to see with that. What about you, Marty? Well, I'm the Paula of the group here. I, so, Abby, everything was wonderful. It was beautiful. I thought it was really great. Lovely presentation. It was very delicious. Brian? I wanted to see variety. I wanted to see multiple dishes out of multiple items, and uh, they did. They gave, you know, they gave us salad, they gave us dessert, they gave us entrees, and it was really yes. delicious. So, yeah, good work. All right, so very cool. Now let's we talk. Have, we have the, Let, that's done. Let's talk about the arts. I'll let you interview them. The arts, arts ladies. What did you think of their dishes? And I like the flavor of the apples with the spice. That was great. Thanks. Very good. What did you think, Jesse? Um, I gotta say that the use of the squash itself to open up as a bowl was really nice. Um, the whole contrast of flavor is really good too. Well, I liked it because it looked very pumpkin-y and very Halloween-ish, and the fruit was very good too. It was lovely. I love the way everybody completely stripped away the bread and off the chicken. Yeah. <laughs> Last commentary. Last commentary. And for the middle group of chefs, what did you think? Again, I like the cheese. <laughs> <laughs> I like the spice. Thank you. Um, I got to say that the the wontons, how they were wrapped up and stuff like that, they didn't need the sauce. They were even better without oh, yeah, it. That, that was really good. The, the little bit of spice, the smoky cheddarness to them, crispiness on the shell was excellent. It was really good. Did kick. Well, I like the sauce. <laughs> <laughs> it, was, it was delicious, though. It was very good. Thank you. Apple salad, really good. Good touch. It was a, a light, refreshing. After having the wontons, it was really it was nice not to have something fried or baked. Yeah. Or it was very delicious and very good for you. It was, it was nice. Good touch. And I understand we have a winner. As close as close can get. As close as close can get. Unbelievably close. All right, hold on. Why don't you just comment on how those... Um, there was a tie for the bottom two, and it was only a one-point difference between those two and the winner. Wow. 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 Yeah. That's 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 so, you messed all my cups. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> all right. I'm almost afraid to look, because I urge you to not be the cleanly person and just come up here and dig in, because it's amazing food. You'll really be missing out if you don't. It's not on the nope, outside. Nope, it's right there. Holy cow. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's that close. No. It, thank you. Thank you that all. That is God. no way.
Holy cow. I, I don't even know if we could cook anything in 40 minutes in the test kitchen. Because we're like in there well, for we three hours. Yet. <laughs> <laughs> it's like three Thank hours. God for editing. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And the winner is Lin Kwan and Wish. <laughs> Great. Good luck. Thank you.